potassium hydroxide wet mount preparation for demonstration of fungal elements. The direct demonstration of fungal elements in a clinical specimen is essential in establishing a diagnosis in a patient suspected of that particular fungal infection. Potassium hydroxide wet mount is one such diagnostic test which if performed correctly can lead to a quick and reliable diagnosis of a fungal infection. The most common fungi detected by this method are the dermatophytes, more commonly known as the ringworm or tenia. These fungi usually cause superficial infections of the skin, hair and nails. Principle Potassium hydroxide is used to identify fungal infections in keratinized tissue like skin, hair and nails and it acts by digesting the keratin thereby increasing the visibility of the fungal elements if present. It also lyses epithelial cells, white blood cells, red blood cells, mucus and various other proteinaceous debris. This permits easy detection of fungal elements such as yeast, hyphae and pseudohyphae present in keratinized tissue and vaginal secretions. Specimens While collecting specimens for fungal infections, utmost care should be taken to prevent contamination. If contaminated, the specimen can be destroyed by the overgrowth of bacteria or other non-pathogenic fungi leading to erroneous results. Hence, maintenance of sterility of the instruments and the surrounding environment is very important. Skin Clean the area from where the skin specimen is to be taken with 70% alcohol. The active peripheral edge of the lesion is gently scraped with a sterile blunt scalpel or the edge of a sterile microscopic slide and collected in a sterile petri dish. The sample can also be collected directly onto a sterile microscopic slide. Nails Nails suspected to have a fungal infection should be first cleaned with 70% alcohol and then scraped deeply to obtain recently infected nail tissue. The initial scrapings should be discarded as there is a possibility of contamination. Scalp and hair Fungi infecting the hair are best identified by examining the basal portion of the infected hair. Collect by removing dull broken hair from the margin of the lesion with the help of sterile tweezers or scraping the scalp with a blunt scalpel. The infected hair may be selected by examining the patient under a woods lamp which emits ultraviolet light. The hair infected with fungi flores under ultraviolet light. The fluorescent distorted hair should be plucked and examined. Transporting fungal specimens to a mycology laboratory. Ringworm specimens are best transported in paper packages rather than screw capped containers because it helps in reducing the humidity and multiplication of bacteria. Collect the specimen on a clean paper, fold it, securing the specimen and label it with the patient's name, ward number, etc. The source of specimen and date on which the specimen was collected. Procedure of preparation of potassium hydroxide wet mount. Reagent. A 10% weight by volume solution is prepared by mixing potassium hydroxide with sterile distilled water. 10% glycerol can be added as it prevents drying of the potassium hydroxide solution. Usually, a 10% solution is adequate to dissolve thin hair and scales. The concentration of the solution may be increased as certain solid specimens like nails and skin crusts may require 10 to 40% concentration. Hair clear within 5 to 10 minutes. Skin scales and crusts usually take 20 to 30 minutes to clear. 
Nail clippings may take several hours to clear. Potassium hydroxide can also be supplemented with the addition of DMSO or dimethyl sulfoxide to hasten the clearing of fungi, especially in skin scrapings and nail clippings. Potassium hydroxide can also be mixed with an equal part of Parker Blue Black ink for staining of the fungal elements. Slight preparation. Transfer the specimen with the help of sterile forceps on a labeled slide. For a better clearing of the specimen, hair should not be more than 5 mm long and skin scales, crusts or nail clippings should not be more than 2 mm across. Add a drop of the potassium hydroxide solution on the specimen and cover with a cover slip. Place the preparation in a sterile petri dish lined with damp cotton wool or filter paper. This will prevent the preparation from drying out. Caution! As a potassium hydroxide agent is corrosive, it should be handled with care. The slide can be gently heated over a flame to hasten the digestion of keratin. However, avoid overheating as it may result in crystallization of the slide material. While using DMSO, heating is not required. Slide examination. As soon as the specimen clears, it should be examined under the microscope, first using the 10x lens and then proceeding to the 40x objective lens. The condenser, iris, diaphragm should be sufficiently closed to allow a better contrast. Hyphal segments, budding yeast cells, spores or conidia, etc. can be observed according to the type of fungal infection. Tube Potassium Hydroxide Preparation The tube potassium hydroxide is prepared mainly for biopsy specimens or specimens which take longer time to dissolve. The specimen should be homogenized and placed in a test tube with 10% potassium hydroxide solution. The tube is then incubated overnight at 37 degrees centigrade. A slight preparation is made on the next day and then observed under the microscope.